Welcome to WordPress training for Multicultural Enterprise Australia. Today lessons we are going to look at the events calendar. This is our home page. As you can see events tag uh, from the top menu. If you click on that it will take you to our events page uh, with the calendars on. To go up a little bit. Okay. This is the calendars and the items within it. You can also see that there's a listing of the events on the right hand side. If the events is actually private, it will appear here but not appear on the calendar itself if you actually logging in. As we're not logging in, uh, so you're not going to be able to see the bottom here it listing the past events that actually happening on the calendar in this case it's gone back to year 2012 on the bottom we also have comment so this is basically what the calendar look like and you can actually move from month to month to see other events that actually is on our calendars and if you're lost not quite sure where you are you can always press today to find out here we go today which is the Friday the 30th of September to access and changing entering the new calendars um, we need to go to locking in to the dashboard and we'll go from there So now we log in at the dashboard. This particular plugin uh, for our calendars um, is called Events Organizer. The setting up is down here for administration. And for the normal users, uh, which we are target today, this is it. Uh, you just press on the events, all events you will have the listing of the events on the calendar at this point in time. You find that this is 2012 and the list go on to the bottom. This is the most current one. Now what you can do is to click it. So you change the priority of listing. Now the newest will be at the top and the oldest one to be at the bottom. You can show what is actually on this screen by pressing screen options. Screen option will open up a dialog and you said okay and you want to to know who actually uh, organizing it or comment or venue that is run, the category, uh, starting date, blah blah blah. Okay so this is our listing. If you don't want something in there like the organizer you can turn it off and then you appear that the columns are now missing uh, so this is all internal for you to have a look at who actually organizing what uh, and doing what let's go in the latest using edit because it's already crea created the events Putting in the, the events details are pretty much the same as you're using the word processor when you're creating posts or pages. You have the same uh, word processor keys here. Uh, you actually have, have the same publishing on this side, event category. Uh, so you find it's very similar. Uh, event tag and the feature image. Also the venue where the venue actually run you can change all this also and move the marker so you can go in the right place uh, and few other details down the bottom very much the same as the post. If the event is actually an occurrence event 
it's happened many many times this will actually appear uh -huh. there you can actually click on it if you want to change anything you can change the start date by clicking that it open up a calendar as you can see you click in the time it will give you the time in uh, 24 hours uh -huh. and minutes okay and if you want to occur weekly or monthly yearly whatever or once most of the events is once how do you want it to repeat every two weeks on Tuesday or whatever there's a whole set of things in here okay you want it to show date you want to have menu um, venue put in events tag is ME training is multicultural enterprise Australia and the project is a project management certificate for and TAFE are going to run this events category is a training and education we'll talk about category later on publishing is the same it can either be publish pending review or draft like normal document public this is visibility public is mean is the event is um, publicly available for anyone to have a look to see the content within it password protected it will list on the calendar but you need a password to get in so this is probably appropriate for all the staff to use it for internal private it will only list it on the side which is this area here but it won't have it on the calendars publishing the same you either publish immediately uh, or you can set the date on when it could be published this particular article is published at nearly five o'clock in the morning on the 29th okay this is the comment that you put in you're trying to make it as small and meaningful as possible certificate for project management this is the events occurring on the 1st of October and repeat every two weeks so pretty much our classes so we're letting them know that the trainers are Southwestern Sydney TIF. the cost is $253 it's five module three extra module at your own cost it might be very simple but that should prompt um, I guess conversation or interaction of how all this is work and as is appear on the calendar itself will go down to October oops gone past October the 1st you can see that if you move your cursor over you'll see that certificate for project management 1st of October okay four to seven at this point it will need to be reviewed after I meet with TIFF um, on Monday RTO costs blah 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 so you get all the information in this section here that maximum information in little space uh, other one so if we get back to um, maybe today training that we are going to do this afternoon it's August the 30th, uh, 1530 to 1630, one hour. Comprehensive training event organizer. Uh, this is for um, multicultural enterprise management. We'll repeat this course for uh, general volunteers and staff uh, at other time. Uh, and you can see that they are listed down here. Okay. Um, Let's go and have a look at the detail of the the calendar itself. Okay, so we now know how to now how things are actually arranged. Okay, on this particular one. Okay, you can list all the events which which is done. There you are. You can change the listing. Uh, so that the new is at the top okay now we have a look at the rest of these columns okay 
So far there's no comment on this. Okay, Cabramada Community Center, that's where the values is run. This has come under training education. And you can see that out of one, no interest loan is um, networking activities and training and education also. Okay, yeah. WordPress lesson two training is for multicultural enterprise admin and the training and education. Okay, you can see that most of them are one time only. When does it start? When does it end? So you can have the events that go for many, many weeks also. Um, recurrence. Okay, that's basically how it all listed out. On each of the events, you can go into edit, like what we did before, or we can go to quick edit. This is about publication only. So let's have a look. So quick edit will allow you to change the name, change the date, change the author, put in the password, or make it private, change the category, event tag, allow comment or not allow comment, and the publishing. Okay, somehow it come up no venue. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. All right. Add new events. Very similar to editing. You just go into add new events. It will come up. Give it a meaningful name. If it's training of some kind like project management certificate 4, please put them in as that. Uh -huh. And then putting these things in publication, event cast degree, tags of course, meaningful tags. Is this a, a single once or is it occurrence? Exp excerpt, if you need to put in excerpt, uh, like a summary, you can put it in. Custom field, this is um, meter information and other thing. Leave it to administration at this point. Background, you can change the background on the detail article but not on the calendar itself because calendar itself which is all these colors here that you can see this color actually linked to the category group so you when you when you click on network activities it will come up with one color training education another color uh, so that is um, the background on the calendars. This background they're talking about is the background when you're looking at an event itself and then you, let's go into this one and say preview the detail of this event. The background behind this is what they're talking about. Okay. Category. This is the category that set up over the period of time when this uh, website is being used or this calendar is being used and we'll group them into something that meaningful. Um, it's just as meaningful as the user uh, going to use them. Uh, and of course there will be a new category that can add on later on as we expand into other area like maybe uh, sewing or in fashion industry or catering or something like that then it would be additional category that add on but very much at the moment in excursion and employment employer visit uh, this is a uh, this is meeting the potential employers and visiting their facilities type activities. Then you, you would select that as your category. Fun event and team building events, uh, team building activities uh, will fall into this one. Administration uh, it could be internal. We might have a meeting every Thursday or extraordinary meeting at some other time. Then we'll list on to here. Network activities, this is when we work with a whole lot of other um, providers out there. Training and education, pretty much training and education. Volunteer work, this could be a whole lot of things. 
to support the local community. Could be um, job expo events that uh, we might be involved in. Work experience. This is pretty much a work experience where someone that do horticulture certificate that need to be attending me farm, for example, uh, for their work experience for three weeks. Uh, that's the type of thing. Um, this is the basic category that we have at the moment, and uh, it seems to work quite well. To create a new one, we need to go to our uh, me meetings, I guess, staff meetings, and uh, have a document in there to create a new one. Otherwise, it gets very complicated after a while. You can also uh, edit, quick edit. It's the same as the other one. Uh, you can delete or you can view what this looks like. Okay, let's go into one just to have a look. You can see there's an event name uh, or category name. Uh, the slug is um, URL HTML friendly version of uh, the name. The parents is none. You can set up the parents under whatever in there. Okay, description. Just give them a short description. And this is a color. Okay, so this particular event is set as red. Now uh, you can change using the wheels and change the color to different other colors. So that's it for the category. Now when you finish, update it. But we don't want to really update this one. So we'll back to category. So here you are. The listing, add new, tags. Tags on the events are the keywords that you can put on. Okay. So um, you can see that um, there's a use team, uh, energy efficiency, a couple of them. Okay. Events calendar training, me farm. So all the keywords that related to item within the calendars uh, and a new one that we just created for this um, for the last training that we are put in is a project management certificate for TIFF okay and the slug look like that okay so you can create a new tag if you wanted to or on the um, add new or while you're actually doing editing or some description of some events Okay, you can add new category, you can add tags, uh, you just type it in here and press add, or you can press open the list here and it will come up with the list that you can actually use. So really up to you, which is the uh, easiest way. I think that category created in the uh, events tag here while you're creating the document is probably the best because it related to what you're actually writing. Uh, and you can go back into um, tags here to to give it a little bit more information description onto here if you have time to do it. Remember that tag is used by the search engine to find and to list the content of what you actually have. Venue. This particular calendar events also allow you to set up venues that you might be using frequently. Uh, if it went off, well, it will take a little time to set it up. But so far, we have the events in all these locations. Uh, so I have created most of them. Some of them are completely finished. Like Cabramatic Community Center, you can see that there's address, city, state, postcode, country, slug, and how many events link to it. Now, the zero one one is normally the events that already been deleted, so that's why they're zero. Now, let's have a look at one. You can either edit, delete, or view. Okay, we just go to edit, Cabramatta Community Center. So name is Cabramatta Community Center. Corner Railway Parade and da 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 in here, City Cabramatta, and then you have the markers to tell you where it is. Okay, and then you have a little 
information down the bottom. Um, the entrance is over here, and you need to sign in the visitor book, blah, blah, blah. So you can put in a, a bit of quick procedure into here, or who to contact. Uh -huh. Like if you want um, Fairfield uh, Community Center to be open for you, um, you might actually put it into here that said uh, such and such a person is responsible and there's a telephone number. So if something does happen, um, the person who organizing it actually will have um, somewhere to to go uh, rather than just standing in front of the building and said, what's happening now? Okay, and on this particular map, you'll find that the markers are is movable. I want to give it a second because we're on um, a slow connection here. You can move it like um, this camera community, community center, but we are going to be looking at um, instead of going to use this door, we might want to be doing the meeting in a different location. You can actually move it around to different location. Okay, like the hall, and you might put them here. And as you put them here, you might want to change your description at the bottom and say um, the hall entrance open, blah, 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 and which room you're going to use, the toilet facility also available or whatever. So you allow minor adjustment here so people will get to it at the right place at the right time. Okay. That's it for the venue itself. Okay, I'm not going to save this because we already set that on one up properly. Okay, so that's the venue. Yep, calendar view. This is the view of calendar itself. Okay, don't worry about this. This is uh, internal. It's for you to select how the events calendar is going to be displayed. Okay. Um, let's go from the top. You got month, week, and day. If you click week or click day, then it will appear as such. Okay, only day, a week, or a month. The months are probably most useful for the external use. Uh, you can view all category or you can view all venue. Uh, when you set it up, then it will appear that way. So the person who have the rights to set all this up uh, should actually be um, on the management level, I guess, uh, instead of anybody going in and change to suit themselves and our calendar keep jumping around on the website. Uh, you can see that there's events in different location, different colors. Um, the calendar is set at this particular time zone. Okay, which is mm, interesting. So I need to have a look at that now. Um, the screen option here is the same as before. You want to set up a 24 hour time or 12 hours. So that's it for the events calendars um, for general user. The lesson will continue on to show you the administration part of the setting up of this particular plugin. Thank you very much uh, for your attention today. I hope you learned something from it. Um, leave the comment at the bottom of our page to see if um, this lesson is helpful or not so helpful, or what need to be changed. We do like to have some improvement. Thank you.